In episode 19, I'm taking a question from David D. David asked, I'm a real estate agent and have been following your videos. I know that blogging is a good way to get new leads, but I don't know what to blog about. What should I write about in a blog in terms of topics and getting ideas? Well, Davy boy, I've got one tactic and a drill you can put into action, plus a bonus you can download at the end of the video. Let's go. If you're writing about how to choose a great real estate agent and you happen to possess all of those attributes, then stop. People are smarter now than they were before and they can sniff sleazy self-promotional tactics that have no inherent value. The first step is to put yourself in the mindset of giving real value without expecting anything in return. Once you can get into this mindset, your topic ideas will start flowing. First, my tool of choice for topic generation is Buzz Sumo. Type in a topic idea like your niche name or a micro topic around it. If I type in real estate, then you'll see the most popular articles around the web related to that topic. From here, you can start generating topics around historically proven pieces that have shown success in the social hemisphere. Look at this one here from Buzzfeed. 40 easy DIYs that will instantly upgrade your home. But you can take this idea from a different angle. If you want to target people that are selling their home, you can give value by providing X affordable renovation ideas to dramatically upgrade the value of their home. Why? Because homeowners care about getting the most money for their home. Here's a little exercise or drill you can put into action. This exercise is about free writing what's on your mind, so don't worry if some of the ideas just suck. Set a 10 minute timer and ask yourself these questions. What problems do people face before buying? Why did I get into this profession? What am I passionate about in this industry? What are common questions I get from clients? What are mistakes people make in your industry? What tools do you use to excel? What is changing in your industry? What do you wish you knew before you made a purchase? Now stop your timer. Set a new 15 minute timer. Now take your answers and start breaking them down into micro topics. If a common problem is saving enough money to buy a home, you might break that down into a few ideas like government credits or low rate mortgages, areas with underpriced homes and a saving strategy to buy your dream home in three years. Within 25 minutes, you should be able to come up with 40 to 50 new working ideas you can blog about. If you liked the video, then let me know by hitting the like button or give me a virtual hug. Also, I put together a bonus template for you that you can use for this exercise. Go to moneyjournal.com forward slash episode 19, enter your email and I'll have it sent over to you in a jiffy. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you a simple two minute keyword research strategy to know whether a topic is worth targeting for search engine traffic, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Finally, I encourage you to try this exercise and let me know in the comments below the total number of topics you were able to get in 25 minutes of uninterrupted brainstorming time. Until the next episode, remember to take action because every minute counts. What we do here is go back, 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 back.